Today we're installing a 24 inch bifold door for this closet right here. Now, if you'll look, you have holes, which will be on the top, which this is the top, top and the bottom of the door. You see right here. Now this is your, I call it a star or like an Astrid type peg. You'll insert in your fixed side, your hinged side of the door. So that's the part that does not swivel back and forth. You'll have two white pegs that will go up top. One being held in by, again, your hinge side, the fixed side, which I'll show you that in a little bit. And then the other being your swivel that just rides along this rail. Now this rail will go up top, find your dead center with a tape measure. Find your dead center. This will be your hinge side on the bottom. So it goes up against the wood of both the floor and the jam. And this is the tools that you need. Tape measure, Phillips screwdriver, and your drill. Now, the reason for the screwdriver is sometimes you have soft wood, rather not strip it out, as well as uh, this thing right here, you don't want to clamp down too hard with the drill. You can do it by hand with a Phillips screwdriver. We've got our kick plate installed for a hand side. Now, what I did was I screwed all these screws about 90% and then hand tighten them the rest of the way. You don't want to uh, strip this out. So we got this dead center. Then we have a running rail dead center. See, this right here slides back and forth. You want this, since this is going to be my hinge side, you want this hole being on that side. So this right here slides back and forth. Whenever you put your door, you want it about right here. Because when you set your door in, you're going to find your hinge side, the bottom, and place it in that kick. As you go to put these inside the running rail and then lift it in place and just kind of you'll find your way inside the running rail okay we're ready to put the bifold door in it's about you want to set it about an inch off the wood uh, better to have two people to do this because you'll be finagling with it quite a bit um, the like I said the hinge side goes in here which will be, this will be the sliding side. This right here will be about the same, an inch. You're gonna try to get it as close as you can off the wall, just like that one. All right, so when you place the door in here, you're gonna go at an angle. You're gonna set it in there on the bottom, go in at an angle. The first rod's gonna go through there. You want to set both rods at the same time in and then it's going to slide like this. You want to keep them just like that. You don't want to open up the door too wide or anything like that. You're going to start hitting corners and creating a mess for yourself. Somebody to hold the bottom as you're doing this. Needs to go in more. All right. So you 
you have a half inch clearance on each side, which when this was built, this was built a little tight. 